Alright, what is up everyone? So I was able to get the auto jailbreak running on the Orange Pi 03. It cost me $25. This is the one and a half gigabyte version. You can save yourself $2 and get the one gigabyte version, which is spec by spec the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. And on the half a gigabyte version, which is the one I have, it took me around 35 seconds to get the jailbreak uh, through and successfully loaded. Um, this video is by no means seamless, so I definitely tried to make it look as seamless as possible, but there was problems behind the scenes that I had to overcome, and I'll go over that in the video so that if you come across it, you can go ahead and dispute that on your own, and hopefully everything runs seamlessly on your end. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them down below. Let's conversate uh, down below. Let's help everyone out. And I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, is helpful to you. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's get started. In your browser, go ahead and search up Orange Pie. This should bring you to the official website hyperlink. I'll go ahead and link it down below just in case. On the top right, you should see service and download. Head over to the download section, scroll down to the Orange Pi model you have. I have the 03, so scroll down and you should find the official images. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Debian image download. I'm gonna do the latest version of 6.1. From here, I have the one and a half gigabyte version of the 03, and right here, we're going to download the Bullseye server and hit that download to the right. All right, so extract that to your desktop. You should have this folder here once extracted. Inside, you have the disk image. You're going to need Belina Etcher. Go ahead and drop that image file down there. Select the SD card for the Orange Pi and Flash. You could ignore this, and give it its time to flash, and once it's complete, we're going to go ahead on the bottom right corner, we're going to eject the device, plug this into your Orange Pi, set up your Orange Pi to your router, and plug it up. This will allow your Orange Pi to boot. And we're going to try to obtain the IPv4 address so we can remote into it. So to do that, open up command prompt, find your default gateway. We're going to go ahead and copy our gateway right here. And once you have that copy, go to your browser and paste that into Google. Should bring you to your router interface. So. Make sure that you plug everything up. This could take a minute. I have 20 clients at the moment. Again, this is how it should look. And it should pop up like so. And if your router is fancy like mine, it should tell you the duration. And this one was on for zero minutes. And I'm going to copy this IPv4 address. So we'll do that and copy it you're gonna go and search for the terminal on your windows device you might have to download this you might not have it you can use command pop if you want i just like this one we're gonna ssh into orange pie that thing and the password is orange pie so orange pie at the ipv4 address yeah that's the username orange pie password is also orange pie so from here, we're going to want to sudo apt install network manager. Since the version of Orange Pi I have has Wi-Fi connectivity, I'm going to go ahead and set that up to my Wi-Fi. If you don't have that, you can just plug in a USB adapter and that will also work. But since mine already has a Wi-Fi antenna, I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So once that is installed, um, we can run this command here, and this will show us the list of devices for Wi-Fi connectivity. And so, as you can see, it's disconnected. 
um, we're gonna go ahead and we gotta get the BSSID to our network so to do that we're gonna go ahead and run the Wi-Fi list command so it's that same thing as above just add Wi-Fi list and find the network that is yours here's mine I'm gonna go ahead and copy that BSSID and hit Q to quit out of this menu Wi-Fi connect and we're gonna go ahead and type in the BSSID or just paste it in you could right-click and then password you're gonna enter in your password right there all right hit enter um, there you go we're successfully connected and if we run not that command I did not mean to hit that um, hit Q to quit if we run the this command we should be able to see that we are now connected to the Wi-Fi so now we want to find the IPv4 address to this now you could go back in to your router and figure it out that way but uh, you could also run this command and get your IP for it that way you just gotta use your arrow keys to go down and you should find your um, IP before address in this information window thing yeah uh, so here it is here's mine 192.168.0.122 so copy that you can open another tab and SSH into that now. So we're gonna do SSH orange pie at the new IPv4 address. You can now, once you are connected, you could disconnect the LAN cable and you can use that for your PS4 later. Um, and we can close that tab. So after we've done this and we are connected, I accidentally typed the password in wrong here, I believe. Also fingerprint, yes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swipe this to another tab and we're going to go ahead and install the whole repository thing. Alright, so on to the bulk of the functionality of the Orange Pie. Why we are here, go to the link down below and we're going to download this zip file right here. I extracted it to my desktop. We're also going to go ahead and need FileZilla. This is so that we can transfer the PPPWN folder to our system. So go ahead and download the client and um, we're going to go ahead and open the client up once you have downloaded it so for the host we're going to type in our ipv4 address for the username do not put orange pie if you do this it will not work you have to type in root password is orange pie port is 22 and we're going to quick connect so we're going to open up this uh forward slash open up that folder and open up the boot folder Once you have that open, you're going to go ahead and open up that folder that we just downloaded and transfer the PPPWN folder into the boot, into the boot folder. Alright, so now that this has finished, we're going to want to set up our USB drive that is going to hold Goldhen. And if you have already uh, ran the jailbreak with Goldhen, you don't need to do this. But if you haven't and this is your first time, you're going to want to insert a USB drive. And you're going to want to open up the GitHub folder, go into USB drive, and drag the gold hen bin file into your the root of your SD card. What? USB drive. And that is it. You just have to eject your USB drive and you are good to go. Okay, we are almost done. All we need to do is scroll down on the GitHub and just see this block of text here. And we're going to need to copy and paste it over in the video here. I did each line one by one because I didn't want there to be any errors. And when I did it, there wasn't any errors. So um, you should be good to just copy and paste it and just run the whole thing. Now, once you get to the last prompt, it's going to ask you some questions. For the first question, I said yes, and then I just proceeded to answer the rest.
Okay, so now once that is complete, we're gonna go ahead and set up the PS4. Now, plug in your U- Oh, it's not there. Yeah, this didn't work first try for me. Plug in your USB, plug in the power to the orange Pi, like so as I do there. I don't have the USB there because, as you can probably tell, I already was able to load gold hen, but that wasn't without a headache. But this is what worked for me. Plug in the gold hen USB right there, plug in the orange Pi power adapter there, and that should work. Next, once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and plug in the LAN cable, Ethernet cable, into your PS4. Then we're going to power on the PlayStation. Now, once you're all powered up, head over to your network settings, go to internet setup, set up a LAN cable, we're gonna do custom. And then we're going to do PPOE, and then for the user ID, we're going to do triple P. And then triple P again. And uh, automatic, automatic, do not use. There you go. And I'm just going to restart the PlayStation and load up again. From here, once you boot up, you just got to wait. As you can see, I already loaded it before. As I said before but just wait and it will go through its route I'll, I'll let this play in real time so you can see like how fast more or less it is Now, it took me roughly 35 seconds, and I get more or less around that same time. And now I want to get into what I was having issues with, and that was that my USB drive with gold hand was partitioned. It had partitions on it, so I would get this error, as you can see here. It doesn't look like anything's wrong, but then gold head isn't injected because of my USB drive. So we're going to go head over to the computer. Get this software over here, ease us, and you're gonna download it. Once you have it downloaded, open it up and find your USB drive. We're going to want to delete the partitions, and you're also probably gonna want to save the gold hen bin. As you can see, I'm fat32. I thought my USB drive was all good, but it wasn't, so we're gonna go ahead and delete all the partitions. Then once we have all of those deleted, we're gonna execute the task and it's gonna take a little bit of time, but not much. Go ahead and wipe it, apply. Doesn't take that long. Then you're gonna wanna create and you're gonna wanna make this. I made mine XFAT. I'm pretty sure FAT32 works, but I'm just gonna use XFAT because I have seen it work with other, with other systems. So XFAT, hit okay execute the task now once this is complete all you have to do is put the gold hen file back on the usb eject it and that should be your usb all set up and working anyways this was my journey on trying to do it you you didn't see the full thing because if i showed you the full thing my brain hurts just as much as yours probably does because i am not a good explainer but i hope you were able to get something out of this video and replicate it for yourself if i made no sense and i and i get it uh, uh call me out on it and i'll try to see if i can explain it better with um the help of uh grammarly mm. <laughs> anyways uh uh, Sony messed up. That is funny, and I love it. And um, um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll link this model down below if I didn't say that. And probably this stupid rectangular prism. It's just a rectangular prism, but the dimensions, of, the dimensions of it work. So I, I, I can put it down. But um, look at that. Just so perfect. Um, I know my PS4 is dirty. It's been sitting in the closet because it was on 9.60, so don't come for me. Um, but it's so cool, yeah. Okay, well, bye. Huh?